Hello everyone, welcome in my YouTube channel. Today in this lecture, we are going to discuss about a igneous rock that is kimberlite. This is the picture of a kimberlite pipe in here a sample in which uh, the mineral olivin is present so first of all we discuss what is kimberlite kimberlites are chaotic mixture of genoliths of crustal rocks and mantle minerals released from genolith crumbling during eruption Phenocrist minerals, alteration mineral of these previous phase such as serpentine and pieces of pre-existing kimberlites. Kimberlite is a hybrid rock which does not consider a true representation of melt composition. Kimberlite is a special kind of igneous rock associated with some diatremes that sometimes contain diamonds. Diamonds are genoliths carried up from deep source in the mantle and often occurs in association with other gem minerals including garnet, spinel and diopside inside the kimberlite. They are most extensively mined from kimberlite pipes or from alluvial gravels derived downstream from diamond source areas. Kimberlites are derived from the earth's mantle at more than 140 km depth. They are petrographically variable rocks comprises strongly altered brexias and tufts. Basically, kimberlites are porphyric, silica Undersaturated potassium rich having 1 to 3 weight percentage of K2. Peridotite with the genomics and phenocryst of diamond and olivine in a carbonated and serpentinized ground mass. So, this is the section of uh, kimberlite in which the uh, the rock is seeing that it is rich in the olivin minerals. These are the genoliths of the diamond in the bearing upper mantle rocks. So this is the a diamond pipe bearing kimberlite pipes, diamond bearing kimberlite pipes are diatremes that originate in the mantle. So diamonds are formed under hot and high pressure conditions. Physical and chemical conditions where diamond form only exist in the mantle. In the upper mantle, diamonds may be common minerals. Diamond is associated with volcanic features called Diatremes. A diatreme is a long vertical pipe formed when gas filled magma forces its way through the crust to explosively erupt at the surface. Whenever carbon occurs as a free species diamonds have the potential to form diamonds are stable under the high pressure and temperature conditions that are only meet at great depth in the earth's mantle continental region that long ago ceased participating in active plate tectonic process such as drifting mountain building or subduction are known as continental craton and has the arcane age. 
diamonds always occur within the craton especially those hosted in kimberlites this is the temperature depth graph in which uh, shows that the diamonds are formed in the depth more than 120-140 km to um, 220 km depth with uh, temperature more than the 1000 degree Celsius and pressure um, is about more than 5 GPA. So these are the physical conditions where the diamonds are formed in the mantle. Economically important kimberlites appears to be localized in regions underlain by portion of the craton in which the older than 2.4 giga These include the diamond wearing kimberlite of Africa in which Angola, Botswana, Leshato, Syria, Leon, South Africa, Swaziland, Tanzania, and Russia, Yakutia, Australia, Western Australia, and the recently discovered kimberlite pipes in the Canada. Kimberlite are also believed to be the ultimate source of the diamonds found in the pressure deposits which have supplied about 90% of the world's diamond output. Some kimberlites are non-diamondiferous either because the magma was generated outside the pressure temperature stability field of diamond or because of the magma never picked up any diamond genocrist due to non-uniform distribution of diamonds in the upper mantle. This is another uh, cross section of uh, a craton with extinct ancient mobile belt and uh, young rift which shows that the diamonds are found in a craton at uh, depth about 200 km and between the 200 to 300 km depth. The cumulate magma can start at depth as great as 200 as the 300 km but must be generated at least below the depth where diamonds are stable greater than 140 km in order to pick up them up from their lithospheric shores. The cumulate magma propagates upward through the lithosphere by hydro hydraulically fracturing the overlying rocks. It moves at relatively high velocity, 4 to 20 meter per second. The evolution of kimberlite magma from its deep mantle source is associated with the changing magma composition and gaseous content. Kimberlite occur mostly pre most pre frequently in subvolcanic pipes and occasionally in dikes and sills. So here in the right side, the kimberlite pipes show dikes and sills related to the different level of the inclusion of kimberlite in magma in the kimberlite pipe exposed at the different levels. Example of shallower pyroclastic kimberlite erupted into the air versus deeper in the or hypervessel kimberlite just lies several kilometers below the surface. This is the subduction model of the diamond where melting due to hot spot activity. And here, this is the diamond formation from the carbon rich sediments. So, magma carrying diamonds. Diamonds are known to be carried to the earth's surface in only three rare types of magma that is, kimberlite, lamproite, and lamprophyte. Of the three types, kimberlites are by far the most important 
with several hundred diamond diffusers in the light mode. In general, all three magma types are derived by a small amount of melting deep within the mantle. Relatively high in volatile in which H2, CO2, chlorine and chlorine contents. MgO rich, marked by rapid eruption and less oxidizing than more common basaltic magma. These magmas are carries the diamonds. So the characteristic of some non-diamond carrying magma in which kimberlite, lamproite and lamprophyre, the characteristic of the color, volatile, composition setting, depth of origin, eruption style, diagnostic phenocryst minerals and typical metric mineralogy and diamond potential are in which all the three magmas of kimberlite, lamproite and lamprophyre are compared. Now, if one question is array, why carbonatites do not carry diamonds? Then the diamond bearing rocks are distinguished from the related carbonatites by having an igneous carbonate mineral abundance of less than 50%. Experiments show that the kimberlite and carbonate type can form a continuum together in which carbonate may be get kimberlites. Carbonate may be ready source of diamond forming fuel, but at the earth's surface carbonate are almost never diamond bearing. The, the simple reason is that their carbon is locked up in the carbonate mineral calcite, which simply has too much oxygen to allow carbon to exist in the elemental form needed to stabilize the timer. So this is all about the kimberlites and 